or for Cybertron or freaking Hey there guys, Primish Reviews here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Gamer Edition Transformers War for Cybertron Autobot Cliff Jumper. Now if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications that we're going to miss single upload every little. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get started. When this product was first shown to us, I was honestly really, really, really excited. And you know what? We haven't had a Cliff Jumper since the B, uh, the Bumblebee movie version of him, and we all know how that went. That one is still one of my least favorite studio series they have ever released. And when this one was released, I'm like, okay, I really hope this one's good. I didn't have high expectations, but I had good enough expectations, so I hope that he was honestly really cool. And I know not a lot of people like the War for Cybertron designs, but to me, it was my childhood. And honestly, I don't remember seeing him in War for Cybertron. I remember seeing him in Fall of Cybertron. I'm not 100% sure on that again. But yeah, really cool. I honestly like this character. Uh, I'm glad he's actually getting some shine. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. Here we do have a beautiful image of Cliff Jumper looking super sick and super cool. I do quite like that. Do got Gamer Edition. Number five, Cliff Jumper. I know I'm missing the Megatron, the Barricade, and the Bumblebee, which I will be getting soon. Don't worry. Do got a beautiful Transformers War for Cybertron there looking really cool. Set of the box, we do have an, uh, an up close image of Cliff Jumper looking really sick. I do quite like that. Back of the box here, we do have the figure and his really cool alternate mode in 21 steps. Now, I don't remember if. Uh, Cliff Jumper was in the War for Cybertron game. Maybe he was like a concept art. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, again, really cool. I, I know he was in Fall of Cybertron, but I don't, I don't remember War, so let me know down in the comments down below. But yeah, really cool image of Cliff Jumper there looking really cool. But yeah, other than, other than that, that's been it for the packaging. So let's take a look at honestly this really, really, really cool looking figure. Now, taking a look here at Cliff Jumper, you can see that the head detail looks freaking cool. I do quite like the head detail a lot. Do got the nice blue for the eyes there. Do got the nice silver going all around the face. Do got some silver on the horns, which I do quite like. And again, the red actually looks really good. I do quite like that. But yeah, the head sculpt looks freaking cool. I do love that. But even going down on the figure, you have that nice Autobot logo there that looks really sick. I do quite like that. Now, this is a retool of the Bumblebee, but I don't have the Bumblebee yet. But we're going to go off on this one. But man, it does look really cool. You got the nice black and red stripes going on there. I think it does look really sick. You got some nice detail going on down there looking really cool. And again, all around this figure, I mean, I, I, I think it does look good. I do quite like it. You got the nice wheels going on here. I do quite like that as well. And yeah. A nice subtle of red and black as Cliff Jumper always, you know, it, it's his color scheme, but yeah, it looks really cool. I do quite like it. Now, the backpack actually doesn't bother me too much because you can tell that they actually try to flush it and they try to make it look more, more, more like compressed, which I do thank them a lot for that. It looks really good. Going down the back, they got some nice detail going on there. Yeah, the backpack just doesn't bother me. The only thing that kind of bothered me is that the chest is just sticking out at an angle. Wish it was kind of curved in. That way it can cover the bottom part here. But you can see that there's a tab here that's prevent preventing them from that. But other than that, I think it does look really cool. Now, this is a really small figure. But uh, nonetheless, this figure looks really cool, really sick, and some nice, nice mechanical detail, man. I do quite like it. Now, again, this is my first time seeing the mold in person. I know the Bombi one came out, but I don't have that one yet. But this one does look really cool. And again, I do like this new mold. I do like the new design. And honestly, I think it's good enough. A deluxe is good enough to where it kind of represents them how it didn't work for Cybertron. Not 100% accurate, but I think it's good enough. Now, this figure did come with three really cool accessories. So let's take a look at that now. Now here we do have his three really cool accessories. First we're going to look at is the blaster. The blaster does look really cool. I do quite like this a lot. Again, it is unpainted gray plastic, but again, I think it does look really cool. I think it does have some nice detail going all around. I do quite like that a lot. I'm not going to look at his dagger slash sword. I think it does look... I think it does look really, really, really cool. Do got some nice detail going all around there. I think it does look really, really cool. And again, I'm glad they did this. Again, I wish it was painted, but you know what it is, what it is. Then for the last accessory here we do have is another weapon. Um, don't know what to call Let's call it another blaster. It does look really cool and really sick. I do quite like this a lot. Again, I'm painted, but it does look really cool. But let's put it on him so that you guys can see how cool he actually looks with 
kind of all of his three accessories together. To put on his cool accessories, what you're going to do is you're going to take the dagger here. And all you can see is he has a hole right here and you do have a tab right there. I mean, peg, and then you're going to simply just plug that in like so. And then there you go. Now you have holding his really cool looking weapon slash dagger slash sword thing now up next how you can do the blaster same thing like gamer edition optimus prime all you're gonna do is take off the hand like so and it's really easy and then you do got a peg right there you can plug in any one of the blasters they are gonna have a hole at the very um beginning and all you simply do is plug it in like that and there you go now you have holding his really cool looking blaster and his really 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 cool looking dagger slash sword slash thing again i think this does look really cool and really really sick i do like the way that the gamer edition all the figures so far that i have which is only optimus prime the blast the, the hand does come out to make the blaster which i do quite like that yeah it's parts forming but again i think it's really 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 cool that they did that i think i i think this figure is really really cool in my opinion man wow now i know i don't show this off too often but i do like the weapon storage on this guy so what you're gonna do is take Come to the back here, and you're gonna, you're gonna see holes right here. And again, each gun is gonna have a tab. And all you simply can do is plug it in like so. However you want, it's gonna have to be sideways, but it is what it is. And then there you go. Then it just sticks to the back. It looks really cool. Now I do like the way that they put or they integrated this into weapon storage. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this sword slash dagger slash thing off. And you're gonna see a tab right there and you're gonna see that there's gonna be a tab right there on the thigh and all you're simply gonna do is just plug it in and that can be like his like his thigh holder for like the, the sword thing and I think that does look really cool I do quite like that they did that because then in case he just wants to rip it out and then man, it looks really cool and I do thank them for that I mean it's a small detail but I do quite like that a lot now for my first size comparison here we do have the war for cybertron cliff jumper next to the bumblebee movie version of cliff jumper and let me just say that i do like the war for cybertron a lot more and you can see that it is a little bit taller than the bumblebee movie version of cliff jumper but again i think that the war for cybertron cliff jumper i do quite like this mold and design a little better well actually a lot better than the bumblebee movie version of cliff jumper again i think they both do look cool it's just I do prefer the War for Cybertron a lot more. For my next size comparison, here is War for Cybertron Cliff Jumper next to the Gamer Edition of the Voyager Optimus Prime War for Cybertron. And man, let me just say that they both do look really sick and really, really, really cool. Now, I do like the sizing in this. I think Optimus Prime is supposed to be this tall, but man, I do quite like this a lot and again studio series thank you for making this i can't believe that we're actually getting war for cybertron game figures and i can't wait to see what you guys keep doing uh yeah really sick and for my last size comparison i haven't brought him out in a while but here is war for cybertron cliff jumper next to the planet x vulcan of grimlock and yeah let me just say that they both do look really cool and really sick together i do quite like them both and honestly, I think they both do look really, really good together. Now, is this accurate? I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. But man, nonetheless, I think they both do look cool. I think they both do look really sick. And let me just say that I am happy, again, that Studio Series is making this. And I'm glad that I got the Planet X Vulcan because I think they both do look great together, in my opinion. Now, for the articulation, the head is really weird, in my opinion. His head can only move side to side. It is on a limited ball joint. And he can look up roughly about that far down about that far and that's it yep that's it that's all you're gonna get and sadly it is what it is i guess his arm can move out about that far uh bicep swivel bend at the elbow and his arm can go in and out that's roughly about it he does have a beautiful waist swivel which i do appreciate them doing his leg can go up about that far and it can go back roughly about that far um, he does have a thigh swivel, bend at the knee, a really good bend at the knee in my opinion, and he does have ankle tiltage, but it does go out for some reason, but yeah, uh, that's roughly it for the posability. The posability on this guy, I'm not gonna lie, it is not the greatest whatsoever. I do wish he did have a little bit more posability than your generic ones, but you know what? It is what it is, um... Still better than the Bumblebee movie version in my opinion, but nonetheless, I think this figure looks really cool, looks really sick. Again, the limited posability is a con, but again, I do wish that this figure did have more of that 
range of motion. But you know what? It is what it is. But alrighty, guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to transform him into his really, really, really cool looking Cybertronian vehicle mode, which I do love. And again, it is honestly one of my favorite ones. I know, but you know, it, it, it was Bone Beats first, but you know what? It is what it is. I do love it. But here's his really cool looking Cybertronian vehicle mode. This does look really really cool and really really game accurate i do quite like this a lot now again i know this is a retool bombie but i don't have bombie yet but man this does look really cool and i can't wait to get bombie man because if this is good on cliff jumper imagine bumblebee man wow just taking a closer look i do quite like this a lot and i mean i do quite like this a lot it does look really really cool um, again, do got some nice detail on the rims there. Look at that. The tires looking really cool and they do roll, which is pretty cool. This figure does roll very well, which I am very impressed. But again, do got the nice black with the red stripes. Do got the nice Autobot insignia right there. Looks really cool. And then do got some nice kind of red stripes going all around the the vehicle mode. I do wish that at least the tailpipes were at least painted like black, at least something. That way this doesn't look plain. But you know what? Just a nitpick of mine. But yeah, it does look really cool and really sick. And I do quite like this a lot. Now it is small. I'm not gonna lie. It is small. About this. Yeah, that's that's small. But you know what? I mean, it doesn't really bother me because again, this is a deluxe. But again, I think it does look very, very good. Now on the bottom, you do got you know shows the head but you know what it is what it is it doesn't bother me again too much because again i'm never gonna pose him like this but again really cool and i do like how the tires roll very very well and again just the detail going all around this guy looks really sick and really cool and again i think studio series did do a great job on this and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna complain because man overall for what they had and what they had to go through and for this to work i think it did do a pretty good job now it's not to say that this figure doesn't have its issues it does have issues but i will talk about that during my con section but man again overall i do quite like this alternate mode and i can't wait to get bone because i you guys know that bone my boy and again i just can't wait to get that figure but nonetheless clutch jumper looks really cool really sick and way this looks to me looks way better then the cliff jumper uh, version of the vehicle mode. I do, I did grow up with this, so this is more iconic for me. But again, really cool, really sick. And nonetheless, this figure does look really cool and really sick. Now you can't put the weapon storage on him, which I do quite like. Do got a hole there, and then do got a tab right here. All you're gonna do is just plug that in, and then there you go. Now he has kind of like a weapon thing. Looks a little funny if you ask me, but you know what? I mean, there's no, there was no other better way to put it. I'm not upset because it does look really cool and really sick, and I do quite like this a lot. But alrighty, guys, I think it's time for me to give my overall review and my overall grade on this guy because, again, I do quite like this figure a lot. Honestly, I'm really impressed with this figure. Now, not to say that it does have cons, because trust me, it does have cons. Is this, is this the most perfect figure? Not even close. But again, I think they did do a good job at what they had to deal and work around. But nonetheless, really cool, really sick. So here's my overall review and my overall grade on this honestly cool figure. Alrighty guys, there you go. There you had the Gamer Edition number five, Transformers War for Cybertron Autobot Cliff Jumper. Now, what do I think? I think this figure is honestly, again, really cool. I do like all the stuff that they did with this guy. Yes, again, I know he is a repaint and the only thing they basically changed was just the head sculpt. But again, really cool figure and I'm honestly really impressed and this one surpasses the Bumblebee movie where this one feels a lot smoother, this one feels a lot more sturdy and honestly I had more of a fun time uh, playing with this guy than the Bumblebee movie version. So for that I do have to give this figure a solid 8 out of 10. Yes I know an 8 out of 10 is honestly really good, it's just there's a few things that I really, really, really don't like about this guy, so let's talk about it. The first con is going to have to be the limited posability. Now, I wish there was a way that he had just a little bit more posability. I know he's a deluxe class, and I know deluxes really don't have, you know, that much range of posability. But man, I, I just wish he had more, because there was some that I wanted to do, but I just couldn't. And sadly it is what it is, but that's my first con with this guy. My second con is going to have to be the transformation. Now, there are some steps that you gotta do with this guy that you kinda have to force things out the way because this figure is small. So there's gonna have to be, you know, times where you're gonna have to force one thing just to move it out the way. And that's one thing that I am afraid of transforming uh, with this guy because again, I really don't want to break this guy, but there's just some times where I'm transforming him and I'm like, I really hope this doesn't break, but that's another con. I do wish 
that this figure which is a little bit taller but other than that those are basically my cons other than that this figure is really cool really sick limited possibility and just i wish the transformation wasn't so like small so that way we, we, we actually move some stuff but you know what it is what it is all in all i think again this figure is really 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 cool and posing him next to the planet x vulcan and the gamer edition optimus prime is really really sick and it, it just excites me because again Megatron is on the way and I, I'm gonna be ordering Bumblebee soon. Barricade is still up in the air for me because again Barricade like I already can tell that I'm not really gonna like that figure but you know what it's for the completion and I may have to get him anyway just to complete the, the Subdecon site but again Studio Series is now making War for Cybertron designs and sooner or later we're gonna be getting the Fall of Cybertron designs and I just can't wait to see where all this goes man because I am really 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 excited again this figure is really cool and nonetheless should you guys pick this up honestly you guys should pick this up if you guys like the war for cybertron or follow cybertron designs and if you are looking to complete the set yeah i think you guys should definitely get this guy this guy is cool this guy is awesome and again not the perfect figure but good enough to where i feel like you will feel satisfied with this figure but alrighty guys i think that's gonna do it for me if you guys are new to the channel please make sure to like and subscribe make sure to turn on post over here that we get the missing upload every little bit guys do enjoy this video and again i really do like this figure and i can't wait to get the bone b1 now i know again people really don't like the war for cybertron designs but me i love it it was my childhood and again really 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 cool looking figure but other than that it's been primary reviews remember to stay calm and keep moving on so i'll make sure you guys on the next one bye